Oh, yeah. This is starting to kind of feel like warm, comfy Good winter job, food. And with that comes winter lewd. And we are starting to kind of plan into some of the winter lewd festivities. Opening night. Mark Lapine from Atelier, the chef and owner. Great to have you back on the show. Award-winning chef. Uh, kind of nice that they brought you on board to kind of start and launch this kind of big dinner prior to the, uh, well, as the opener. Mm -hmm. You excited about it? Yeah, super excited about it. It's been a fun night. You've done it before, though? No, I haven't done the you opening night. You haven't done opening night no, before? No, they usually bring someone in from out of town, actually. We so. don't need to bring anyone in anymore. <laughs> We've got the talent talent right here. So what, what does this evening entail? Um... It's going to be, uh, it's at the Congress Center first, or the Convention the Center, sorry. Convention Center. Yeah, I misspoke there. Um, in that big panoramic room on the, I think it's the fourth floor. Uh, and they've, they're combining like sort of avant-garde food and avant-garde fashion. Um, and they're going to have this big catwalk all the way down the, the middle of the dining room and all yeah. the tables are around it. Uh, That's kind of neat. The floor plan looks really cool. Uh, yeah. I think that it's a Toronto designer, Lucien Matisse, host, hopefully I'm saying that right, yeah, so, uh, Lucien Matisse, who's coming in, so sh showcasing their designs. Yeah. Uh, and it's interesting because when you're, when you're looking at some of the foods that, that are prepared, you kind of look at them and you don't even want to kind of bite in because it just looks too perfect. And sometimes the same with fashion, <laughs> right? You have this you have this outfit and it's like, it looks great on the runway. How, do you, yeah. how are you actually going to wear it? Yeah. So uh, kind of that feel a bit? Uh, hopefully that's what we're going for, yeah. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Uh, what is the, I think we're going to make something similar to what you would yeah, this see is, served up that night. Yeah, we're something kind of similar, something we call, oh, that's hot. What is this, by the way? This is a wild boar belly. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? A wild boar belly? A boar belly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. It's a dish we call shards. It's got a really striking look. It's finished off with all these. These are all made with root vegetables. So we got okay. beets. Okay, that does. Okay, I understand that this is the color of a beet. <laughs> <laughs> this this looks like the color of a beet. That's good. We got that part right. What is this? It looks like a sponge. Um, it's what kind of a wafer. Uh, we juice the beets. It took a, a few days to get to that point, actually. But, okay, like, um, okay. We juice the beets. We whip them with a product called methocell. Uh, it's just a plant gum that. Um, is able to whip air into juices. Right. So, um, we cook the beets with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, spices, and then we whip that juice up into a, into a foam. Um, and then we spread it on acetate and dehydrated it for uh, about two days. Um, it comes out. See the bubbles in there? Yeah, Still I kind see of foamy, but bubbles. light. Yeah. yeah can, okay. So we've, can I try this? Yeah, sure. The Break amount off a piece, of things of that you've just <laughs> discussed going into this. So that was the beet. What is this? Is a sweet potato maybe? Or that is carrot. carrot. Yeah, we do have sweet potato in there though. That's a carrot. Um, this is. That is rutabaga. Wow, this is fascinating. <coughs> Talk about avant-garde food. Okay, I'm so trying to beat. I mean, you're right on the money with the comfort food idea. This is this is very cold weather food. <gasps> um, that tastes so cool. Just like that beet. That is awesome. It does taste <laughs> it's like a beet, it's almost pure but beet. But in a very it's... like a, a crazy texture to mm -hmm. it. Like a very light wafer, right? That's, yes. Yeah. <coughs> very very cool. Um, we serve uh, at the restaurant. We serve twelve courses every night, so we need um, the portions are a little smaller than mm -hmm. your typical big plate. So we need flavors that are really pure, really big. So that's almost pure. It's almost one hundred percent beet. That's all it is. So as soon as you bite into that, even though it's it's light, not filling up so much, you're, you got instant beet flavor. Yeah, yeah. Like big strong beet flavor because that's, that's all fascinating. that's in there. That is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. You could achieve the same thing. This was whipped with Versa Whip. Um, it's like a soy protein that works very much like egg white um, and that's just pure carrot juice. And it just, all we need is 1% um, by weight of Versa Whip and we, we make this. So we've got nothing but carrot there essentially. Carrot that juice. Is, that's real, it's incredible. I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> Science of food right there. All right, so the meat's done. Yes. What is this? Um, this is a rutabaga puree. We just use this to anchor all the uh, all the shards into mm -hmm. the meat we cured um, and we cooked for 36 hours uh, in a sous vide bag. So nothing really is done quickly at your place. Uh, some things are. This, this took days <laughs> some to things do. Are, yeah. This took days. And so did this. Uh, some things are done exceptionally quickly. Uh, we make ice cream in about 20 seconds. Well, that's but good. Other nice things, to know. yeah. Um, so the meal that people would experience <coughs> for this taste of Winterloot at the opening night. Mm-hmm. Similar to this? Uh, the plates are all going to be extremely visual. That's what we're... Visual. That's kind of what we do and what we go for generally. Um, and the theme of the evening, I think, is very sort of avant-garde-ish and, and the fashion element tied in. You can actually... People can actually go to the front of the line because, uh, of course, the Winter Loot opening night presented by American Express and the National Capital Commission. So you can go to the front of the line to purchase tickets for this event uh, starting uh, from Monday. And that's going to go right through until Friday to get tickets for this. Um, and uh, all of the information, kind of, I start to check out everything from Winterlude. Check onto the Winterlude websites as well as we're starting to get ready for uh, all of these events. 
Uh, so tickets for this event are going to go on sale on the December the 1st. So for those of you who have American Express front of the line, you can get in on tickets right through until Friday, and then they will go on sale uh, on the 1st, on this Saturday. I think a lot of people looking at this maybe as a great uh, Christmas present, something totally different to be able to take in. Very avant-garde. Look at that. That's amazing. <coughs> Thanks. You have 500 of those to do. Yeah, well, yeah, I got a, I got a good alone. team of people to with me, so. <laughs> 500 of these They'll to go do. On super fast. And it's going to be how many courses? Uh, five courses. Five courses. Yeah. A wonderful opportunity. If you can get involved, it's going to be $165 plus tax. Opening night of Winterlude at the Ottawa Conference Center. Uh, and you've got Demarc Lapine from Atelier uh, being the, uh, the celebrity chef for this. Uh, and then you've got the fashion designer, uh, Lucien Matisse, who's doing their winter collection. Always a pleasure. Mm. Thank you. I have Thank to you. tell. Can I dig in on that meeting there? Yeah, okay. Sure. Awesome.